Hey y'all, so it is no November 1st. Um, I just wanted to chat about my life, what's been going on, and a little update with me. You know, because I haven't been posting on YouTube a lot. And really, okay, I'm trying to find a place to sit without, I think this is okay. But um, basically, okay. So ever since COVID and everything, everything has just been pretty much like up in the air. Um, school is a lot. That's the main reason why I haven't been posting on YouTube. It's like the workload for all of my classes is like psycho. Like it's a lot. Like every, it's like something is due every single day. I have projects due every single day. I have essays due, all type of assignments. It's like I get on Blackboard and it's assignments I have never seen before. And then the crazier part about it is that I literally, I literally have no willpower to do any schoolwork at all. And that's not like me. I always usually get my schoolwork done. I'm always usually really on top of my schoolwork, but it's it's really hard. Um, it, like, you know, I know I'm not alone. I know a lot of college students are going through this right now. I don't know what you call this, senioritis, but if this is senioritis, I wanna call it senioritis on steroids because it's like the fact that I know stuff is due and I'm literally just sitting there and I'm like, okay you know like I don't even care if it's due it's like I don't care if I do it but it's like I care I want to do it because you know I want a good grade I want to keep my grades up I'm usually always on top of my schoolwork I so it's weird that when I see stuff due and I just have no willpower to do it you know it's like I have to really force myself to do schoolwork and I don't like that honestly I have been depressed um I've never really dealt with depression before I mean I have um in school clearly like when I was on campus and stuff you know how you get when you just get sick of school and everything but I feel like it's different because we're going through a pandemic and there's not a lot of stuff you can do I mean there is stuff you can do but you know with the whole government and stuff you know you need to be staying safe you know that you shouldn't be around crowded areas um Halloween was yesterday I saw a lot of people at a lot of parties and I'm gonna just pray that y'all are okay because um yikes but um yeah it's hard because it's like I feel secluded and um it's like when I was on campus it's a lot of other stuff you can do they always have events going on there's always a party going on I used to always hang out with my friends, like, you know, get my toes done, go shopping, do something, child. And now that the whole pandemic is going around, you know, a lot of people really aren't campus. A lot of people are back home or doing their own thing. I've seen a lot of people get in their own places. Um, it's just not the same because I feel secluded, you know, being in the house or just even, you know, being in my room, drowning in schoolwork. Um... It's a lot, and I think it's really taken a toll on me. It, Like I said, I think I, I have done with depression before, but not this bad. And if I have dealt with depression, it was during school, but it wasn't that bad. I'm sorry, my lips are dry. But um, it's totally different. And I'm trying to stay on top of my schoolwork because, you know, I graduate in the spring, if you do not know. The spring semester is going to be my last semester. My boyfriend be like, well, if you feel this way, why don't you take a break? Y'all, the way I feel about it is that if I don't get this, if I do not finish school by what I said, spring, I'm never going to go back. And that's just, that's honestly like just how I feel. Like whatever this is going on with me, I got to, I got to overcome it. I got to do something about it. I got to pray on it because child, if, if I was to take a break I don't think I would go back to school especially during a pandemic it's it's really a lot and I've been trying to um get better and stuff and it's not that bad it's just on some days it's hard because I wake up late I don't want to eat it's like you're hungry but you don't have any energy to get up and eat and then when you do get up and eat you only eat a little bit because you really don't have an appetite like that so you're really forcing yourself and then a day goes by and you waste so much time 
my room is a mess and that was because I was like rearranging some stuff but you I just don't have the energy to be doing stuff and I've never dealt with that before as far as my future goes and medical school goes um I don't know what to do um speaking more on that don't know by now I want to go to medical school to become a physician assistant my plan was to graduate in the spring which is still on board take a gap year because I still have to retake a class or two I still got to take my chemistries and I need to get my patient contact hours up and when I was on campus I was involved in a lot regarding my career I was volunteering at the hospital um, I'm training to be a doula and my plan was to get all that stuff straight and take a medical assisting program once I graduated and then after that you know get a job move and do some other stuff but um the way that's looking I don't I don't know and that's because um obviously all the all the hospitals are overcrowded due to COVID and you guys know this stuff is not getting any better. It's getting worse because people aren't doing what they're supposed to do. All the stuff I was involved in was ultimately postponed because it was healthcare and you know everything is very limited now. Everything you have to do is through Zoom and um, I don't know. This isn't this isn't like I like just graduated college and I have all my patient contact hours um, you know I'm about to, I have all my ducks in a row to apply it's not like that um, I still have some stuff I need to straighten out my plan was to apply to medical school what's this year at least in 2023 no the summer of 2022 yeah and you know start in 2023 you know what I'm saying but um it doesn't look like that's gonna happen because all the hospitals are overcrowded due to COVID and I can't get my patient contact hours up if um, all of the healthcare based classes that I wanted to take are postponed so I'm not getting my hours so I'm not really eligible to apply to medical school. Um, I really don't know what medical schools are doing towards admission. I mean I saw on one of the schools I'm going to apply to that they are taking um, up to two prerequisites of um, pass or fail but as far as the contact hours and everything nothing has been said about that so as far as I'm thinking everything is the same but how am I supposed to get contact hours without um, taking courses and stuff like that you know um, because I wanted to be a medical assistant so I can get some hours but I know there's a lot of um, jobs open due to healthcare, but school is just crazy right now. Um, it, everything's up in the air, and it's like I know I sound like I'm going in circles, but that's really the only way I know how to explain this situation because they don't know either regarding the medical schools. Like they're just taking stuff a day at a time as they're going, so they really don't know as much as I know. So, <sighs> and then my parents, um, I'm the oldest child. So, obviously, there's always been a lot of pressure on me to have everything together and lead by example for my younger sister. I only have one sibling, and that's my younger sister. And, um, obviously, st the stuff that's going on is not in my control, so this is really the first time that I don't have everything together. Because academically and job-wise, that part was always straight for me. Always always knew what I was going to do. I always had a backup plan. Um, so it's weird to be living life the way it is now and just not knowing what to do next. And my dad, he's cool. Like, he understands that stuff is going on. So he doesn't really, like, um, go on me a lot. But my mom, she's been so, like, on me about medical school. She's been you know asking me about medical school it's like I want to say badgering but it's like pressuring me almost I don't know about y'all but I'm only speaking from my standpoint my career choice 
but these hospitals and medical schools they don't know what they're doing right now nobody knows what they're doing right now so it's like I really don't have a clear answer and every time I mention school or every time I mention like work she's always asking me you know have I contacted medical schools you know have I asked them about updates because she thinks I can get into medical school without doing patient contact hours no you can apply without con contact hours, but you're not going to be competitive. She's always asked me what I plan to do, and it's like, girl, I don't know. Um, I guess I feel down because I'm always used to doing something. <clears throat> I'm always used to staying busy. I'm always used to being on top of stuff, in a sense. And now that this whole pandemic is going on, it's like for the first time in my life, I truly just do not know. It's just a lot of pressure on me. Because I already just don't know what's going on. Everybody else doesn't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. I can't tell you anything more than what they announce. And honestly, y'all, I was stressing about getting into medical school even before this pandemic. Because, you know, I wanted to get in by a certain time. You know, I wanted to get in by a certain age so I can get medical school done with. And so I can live my life. Honestly... I'm going to fall back from that. Like, I'm still going to go into medical school. I'm still going to do what I said I was going to do. That's not going to change. But with this whole pandemic, I'm just learning how to not stress about things I can't control. Me not being able to apply to medical school and get my patient contact hours and get a job suiting that. That's just going to have to happen whenever it happens and whenever things just simmer down when it comes to this, this virus. Because really the virus is the only thing holding me up, holding everybody up. So I just have to learn how to take life a step at a time. And I think the virus has been a blessing and a curse because I always had pressure to have my life together. I always had pressure to know what I'm doing. And now that I don't know what I want to do right now, it's just causing me to basically go on autopilot. I can't stress over things I can't control, basically. You know, basically what I'm saying is whenever I get into medical school that's whenever I get into medical school okay I still have a life to live I'm only 21 years old I'll be 22 in February I am still very young and I be thinking I need my whole life together and then some before I get married and have kids and this pandemic is just telling me girl no matter what the circumstance is you need to enjoy your life in every aspect that you can because when you get older you're gonna start to appreciate and value the younger years that you had and that's definitely setting in for me right now it's a lot of pressure right now and i just feel so defeated but oh, by god's grace i'm gonna keep going and hopefully everything is gonna be better another thing i wanted to say was i stopped working at the grocery store job yes i stopped working at wise i quit sorry y'all um my parents got home and you know, I had to run off to another room so I can get some peace and quiet so they don't find me a barge in on my video and all that kind of stuff. Like I was saying, I quit WISE because um, they were cutting my hours. So y'all were in the comments saying that they take jobs away. Y'all was right. Um, they kind of, they were starting to cut my hours and it was, they said it was because the lockdown was lifted as you guys know we was on lockdown for a few months and then they lifted it for whatever reason and they opened everything back up for that they took away my hazardous pay well they took away our hazardous pay hazardous pay all the employees and they just started to cut our hours because you know i guess it was really no need for us to be there a lot because the lockdown got lifted and everything and you know before then, I was getting scheduled pretty well. I was getting paid really well because of that. Then they got the self-checkout. Then, you know, shortly after that, my hours started to just go down. Because of that, I wasn't, so because of that, I wasn't getting paid like I was used to. My pay got cut a lot. Um, they wanted me to run around and do a whole lot of stuff that I was I felt like I was not getting paid enough for. Like they wanted me to be the main cashier. Then they wanted me to watch. 
self-checkout and they wanted me to like do a whole bunch of other stuff and when it was getting busy i would be running back and forth from self-checkout and all that kind of stuff and i was like uh-uh boo boo like that's too much for me to only be getting paid regular pay now yeah i was just becoming really unhappy at that job because it's just you know it's just nothing i'm going to school for it's not my passion that job was something i s just snagged when i got home when my school sent us all back and i wanted to make some money and it was good at first because you know the excitement you have when you get a new job and you start getting paid a lot and all that kind of stuff and after that wore off and stuff started to change it just changed my whole look on the job but i was getting depressed because you know first of all school was starting to beat me up and school is still beating me up and then i just i was becoming unhappy because that's nothing i'm going to school for and um yeah it was getting to the point where i would get there and i just didn't want to be there you know um it was just cutting into my school time it was cutting into my study time and I just decided to leave. Where I'm at right now with working is um, I currently don't have a job, but I have been applying to healthcare jobs because I just need to find something that's going towards my career path. And that's, that's the thing about me. I think I'm just reaching a different stage in my life. And these jobs that just won't go towards what I'm going to school for I just aren't going to cut it anymore the thing was when I became of age to work I was working okay so that was my whole thing that was my mentality like if I don't have any money I'm going to get some money and even if I do get money I'm going to find another way to get more money that was my thing if I don't have a job I'm going to get a job if I, even if I don't like the job it's still money and I need to work I, I like money I want money that was my whole thing so me the option of not working that just wasn't an option because i was like i have stuff to do i was always getting a job like i was always working retail i was always working jobs i really had no business working but you know in healthcare, you have to be a certain kind of age to work healthcare, and then you have to have a certain amount of availability to work healthcare too and i'm in school and healthcare jobs don't like that now it might be different in different areas maybe i'm just not looking in the right spots but I've applied really everywhere and I've gotten interviews that's not a problem me getting interviews that's not an issue but until they ask me if I'm in school and I say yes I'm not getting a job so that was my thing I was always going to retail jobs because I have experience working retail um it's the easiest job I can get um, and I'm good at retail I'm good at customer service so I'm really good work when it comes to that and um, every time I've worked retail it really has not gone well for me yeah it's easy for me getting a retail job because I have experience but it's not really good in the end because one that's just not what I'm going to school for and besides wise the retail jobs I had before they don't like that you're in school they don't. I think Wise was the first and really only job that didn't mind that I was in school. All the employees and even my bosses, they encouraged me to stay in school. So I'm not bashing Wise. It's just the jobs before then like Ross. I used to work at Gabe's at a time. All those clothing stores, they don't like to turn in school. They don't. I didn't even tell Ross I was in school and they just tried to use that as an excuse to fire me. So I'm just reaching a different stage in my life where I just don't need to be working these little retail jobs. I need to actually get a big girl job, like a healthcare job that's going to count to my hours in medical school when I apply and it's actually going to expose me to anything in the medical field because I just need something that's going to teach me along the way and during this pandemic I need I need something that's gonna count until this stuff calms down and I hope that just doesn't change anything I know you guys really love my come to work with me video for wise but I think that chapter is over with and when I get a healthcare job you guys are gonna just come with me on the next journey so I hope that doesn't change anything yeah I think that's just 
basically a mini life update. That was not mini girl, but that's basically what's been going on with me. I'm now I'm still applying to jobs. If I get a job, y'all are gonna know. Um, it's gonna be healthcare, but yeah. I'm also trying to get my life back on track. I'm trying to get closer to God because I feel like this pandemic, I just need to be closer to him during this time because nobody really knows how this is gonna go but him. I hope you guys really like this video. Thanks for sticking by. You guys in my next video and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye guys.